News just coming in that the Gujarat government has opposed Tista Setalwad's bail plea before the apex court and the Gujarat government has said that there is no new evidence to show criminal conspiracy. Gujarat government says the investigation conducted so far has also revealed several new pieces of evidence substantiating the commission of the offences as part of a larger conspiracy. So what the Gujarat government has now said while opposing uh, activist Tista Satulwad's uh, you know, bail plea in the Supreme Court is that investigation which has commenced has reached so far as unearthed premeditated and collusive criminal acts by various persons with the petitioner playing a major role in giving effect to the conspiracy for oblique purposes. What are these oblique purposes that are being referred to by the Gujarat government? Ananya Bhattagar joining me live from the Supreme Court. Well, yes, uh, the Gujarat government's SIT has now filed a response before the topmost court of the country. Remember that uh, Tista Setalwad's bail is going to come before uh, the Supreme Court very soon. And uh, in response to these uh, petitions, now uh, the Gujarat government has filed its, uh, in fact, response uh, clearly opposing the bail to be granted to Tista Setalwad. What major points that have been made by the Gujarat government's SIT is, first of all, the major point that the Gujarat government is saying that Supreme Court is not an appropriate forum for uh, this petition to be heard because the Gujarat government, uh, the Gujarat High Court, I'm sorry, is already seized off the matter. Apart from that, what has emerged out from the investigation and what the Gujarat government says is that within a week of the 2002 Gujarat riots, Tista Setalwad came down to uh, Ahmedabad and met with several political leaders and a very, very prominent leader of a political party and a conspiracy was hatched in order to frame the Gujarat government and to defame them with regards to these riots. In fact, uh, it has also been said that it was for oblique purposes of finances, of, uh, in fact, getting fame, uh, is what the Gujarat government says, that it was majorly for financial purposes. And remember that when uh, the Gujarat government society was also opposing the bail plea, in, in, in fact, uh, the, the lower court also it had said that she had received uh, in, in sum of uh, 1 in 25 and then in, uh, then 5 lakhs another. To, in two factors, she had received around 30 lakh rupees in order to hatch this conspiracy. In fact, it has also been said by the Gujarat government in its affidavit, Maria, that uh, she has used the criminal justice system for her oblique motives by framing false affidavits and false statements from innocent people, innocent victims of that riot. She had framed uh, uh, and given out, uh, in fact, false affidavits and statements before the various courts of the country, clearly using uh, the criminal justice system for an oblique purpose. Remember that this case comes up after the Supreme Court had given out its verdict, clearly clearing the, uh, giving a clean sheet clearly to former um, uh, Gujarat CM and currently the Prime Minister of the country, Narendra Modi and others, into this particular case, uh, into this uh, larger conspiracy case and okay. had also said that various people need to be held, held accountable and following which an FIR was registered. And this is the particular case in which the Gujarat government has now opposed the bail plea, saying that within a week of these riots, this uh, conspiracy was hashed and Tista was a very, very crucial part of this. Maria. All right, Ananya, thank you so much. For